Throughout my career, I've competed against the best luchadors on the planet, and I own victories over them all. The greatest match superstar in WWE history. The chance to take on another Lucha Libre master in Gran Metallic was something that got me very excited. Competing against another luchador, it motivates me. It inspires me to learn from the new generation, and I have something to teach them as well. This guy right here, Gran Metallic, at one time, was watching me on TV and said, I want to do that. And look at him now, one of the best. He's the king of the ropes. Metalik loves to fly. It's a different style of high flying. It's a different control. This generation has something new under their sleeve, and you have to respect that. The heritage and culture of Luce Libre in great hands here. When I had the opportunity to face Gran Metalik, I knew these were deep roots. We were going back to where I began. I was so excited to give the WWE Universe a taste of true lucha libre and knew this was a dream match that they couldn't afford to miss. From the second he grabbed me, I knew right away that he was here to make a statement. He brought the fight with him. I knew this was a match he'd wanted ever since I had returned. And man, he came out crisp, looking good, and on point. Counters everything I tried. Now, I've given this move to many of my opponents and taken them down. But when I hit Metalik with this Rana and he pulled out with the cartwheel, I was like, what? Now, trust me, I have a lot of respect for Metalik. When I set him up for the 619, I said, is this match gonna be over that soon? As I ran and I go to hit it, he pulled out and then just rolled me up. One, two, kick out. I was like, wow, okay. I knew at the beginning of this that he was going to bring a fight, but he really brought the fight.
else who's like peanut butter and jelly. I hit the senton, and right after that, it's the springboard crossbody. Two moves that always go back to back. This is the Lucha Libre style. That's what it's about. <clears throat> That's right. El Rey de las Sogas, King of the Ropes, right? Hard to not be impressed when you see him do that, but not when you're on the receiving end. It's like everywhere we went, Gran Metalik was in my face, not backing down from anything. And that Rana, man, I don't remember even being knocked out so hard off a of Rana. Normally it's me giving them, not taking them. I still had the fight within me. Kicked out at two, but I had to stay sharp if I wanted to leave with my hand raised. Gran Metalik wasn't letting up. This match had been non-stop back and forth action, and I knew we were both getting a little tired in there. Honestly, I was, and I thought he was as well. So when he didn't offer much resistance to the Rana, I thought maybe this is the right time. I was on the path of the 619. It connects in a matter of moments, finishing up with the frog splash. Now this match was back and forth, up and down. Lucha Libre style at its finest. When that frog splash landed, I knew that was it. It was over. Now I gotta say, Gran Metalik put up a hell of a fight. He was everything I expected and much more to be as an opponent. And I told him once it was over, I would love to have this match once again. I love seeing the next wave of luchadores and getting to test myself against one of the best and the upcoming was very special to me. Getting the win, of course, just makes it much sweeter.